Section 4.2, degrees and radians. Angles and their measures. From geometry, you may recall an angle being defined as two non-collinear rays that share a common endpoint known as a vertex. An angle can also be thought of as being formed by the action of rotating a ray about its endpoint. From this dy dynamic perspective, the starting position of the ray forms the initial side. So in standard position, here's the initial side of the angle, while the ray's position after rotation forms the angle's terminal side. So as we open up the angle, this is the terminal side. In the coordinate plane, an angle with its vertex at the origin, so vertex right here at the origin, and its initial side along the positive x-axis, here's the initial side, is said to be in standard position. The measure of an angle describes the amount and direction of rotation necessary to move from the initial side to the terminal side of the angle. A positive angle is generated by counterclockwise rotation, so this would, right here, this would be a positive direction, positive, and clockwise is a negative direction. The most common angular unit of measure is the degree, which is equivalent to one, one three hundred sixtieth of a full rotation, counterclockwise, about the vertex. From the diagram shown, you can see that 360 degrees corresponds to one complete rotation, 180 degrees to a half, 90 degrees to a fourth, and so on as marked along the, the circumference of the circle. So here's a quarter turn, half turn, three quarters, and then a full turn is 360 degrees. Each degree can be broken into minutes and seconds. One degree is 60 minutes, and one minute is 60 seconds. Write each uh, decimal degree measure in degrees, minutes, seconds form, and each degree, minute, second measure in decimal degree form to the nearest thousandth. To find degrees, minutes, and seconds, we have 56 degrees. And then we'll take 0.735 times 60 minutes. So 0.735 times 60 is 44.1. So now we have 44 whole minutes. And then we'll take 0.1 times 60 seconds, which is 6. We have 56 degrees, 44 minutes, and 6 seconds. Now to go the other way, we have 32 degrees, and then we're going to add that to 5 60th of a degree, and then we'll add that to 28 over 3600, because there's 3,600 seconds in one degree. We have 32 plus 5 divided by 60 plus 28 divided by 3600, and we get... 32.091 degrees. What is a radian? Here I have a little, um, little video of what a radian is. And I've sped this up because it's a little slow. But if you take the length of the radius and measure that along the circle, that's called one radian. One radian is about 57 degrees. Then if you take another length of the radius, that is the length of two radians on a circle. And that's about 114 degrees, so 57 times 2. Now if you take another length of the radius and that add, add that on, now this is three radians uh, as you walk along the circle. So here is three radians. And we notice that three radians is just short of a half a circle. Well, this is... 3.14 radians, known as pi. So halfway around the circle is pi radians. So here is zero radians, and halfway around the circle is pi radians. So half of that is pi over two radians. So we have pi over two, we have one half of a radian, or one half of pi radians, we have pi radians. So one half, two halves, here's three pi over two, and then once you get all the way around, you've gone two pi radians. That's why the circumference of a circle is two pi times the radius. Really, you've been using radians for a long time. You've just never been told that. Well, now if we start here at zero, and this is pi radians, and we've cut that into one, two, three pieces, this is pi over three, and this is two pi over three radians. And pi over three radians is the same as 60 degrees. Well, if we have one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds. This must be four pi over three radians. 
and this is 5 pi over 3 radians, and this would be 6 pi over 3, which again is 2 pi radians. So in other words, uh, all the way around the circle is 3.14 times 2. So it's 6.28 radians. So the length of the radius 6 times and a little bit more is all the way around the circle. Well, here we've cut pi into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces. So this is still pi radians. This is still 0. So this one is pi over 6. This is 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6. Those all reduce. This is 5 pi over 6. And then we have 6, 6, which is pi. Here we have 7 pi over 6, 8, 6, 9, 6, 10, 6. This is 11 pi over 6. And then this is 12 pi over 6, which is back to 2 pi. And here we've cut pi into 4 pieces. So here's 0 radians. This is pi over 4 radians. This is still pi over 2, which is 1 fourth, 2 fourths. Here's 3 pi over 4 radians. 4 fourths. This would be 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, here's 7 pi over 4. And then we're back to 8 pi over 4, which is 2 pi radians. Convert from radians to degrees or degrees to radians. We have 135 degrees. Now we're going to convert that to radians. And we know that 180 degrees, or halfway around the circle, is equal to pi radians. So now we can just cross multiply. We have 180R equals 135 pi, so R is 135 pi over 180, which reduces to 3 pi over 4. How about negative 30 degrees over radians? Now that, that equals to 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. We have negative 30 pi is equal to 180R, so R is equal to negative 30 pi over 180, which is negative pi over 6. Well, what about radians to degrees? Well, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So we take 2 thirds times 180, uh, and then cross multiply, that'll be pi times d equals uh, 360 over 3 pi. So uh, we have pi times d, that's equal to 120 pi. So D is equal to 120 degrees. Now we have negative 3 pi over 4. We're converting that to degrees. That's equal to pi over 180. Uh, so pi D is equal to, we have 3 fourths times 180. That's equal to 135 degrees, but negative. We divide the pi's out, so the degrees is negative 135 degrees degrees. By defining angles in terms of their rotation about a vertex, two angles can have the same initial and terminal sides but different measures. Such angles are called coterminal angles. In the figures below, angles alpha and beta are coterminal to each other. So if this is positive 5 pi over 4, positive 5 pi over 4, uh, then the same angle is negative, that's equal to negative 3 pi over 4. Those are coterminal, they, they end at the same place. Or you could say, well, if this was uh, 60 degrees, then this angle right here stops at the same place that 60 plus another 360 would, would be. So that would be 420 degrees. Those are coterminal angles. Identify all angles that are coterminal with 80 degrees, then find and draw one positive and one negative angle coterminal with 80 degrees. So all of them are 80 degrees plus 360, and then of course, times multiples of 360. So n has to be an element of the integers. So one coterminal co angle could be 80 plus 360, which is 440 degrees. Another one could be 80 minus 360, which is 280 degrees, negative 280 degrees. So we can draw, here would be 80 degrees, just short of 90, and then we go all the way around to, to the same spot. So this right here, with this arrow, that's three. That's 440 degrees. And then this one would be negative 280. So you just have to go the opposite direction and you would stop at the same point right there. Identify all angles that are coterminal with negative pi over 4, 
then find and draw one positive and one negative angle coterminal with negative pi over 4. So we have negative pi over 4 plus 2 pi n, where n is an element of the integers. So multiples of 2 pi are going to be coterminal. We have negative pi over 4 plus 2 pi, which is 8 pi over 4. There's 2 pi. And that's equal to 7 pi over 4. So there's a positive angle that's coterminal. Then we have negative pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4, or minus 2 pi. And that's negative 9 pi over 4. So here is, let's see, where is negative pi over 4? That's right here. And we have to go 7 pi over 4. So this one is coterminal with negative pi over 4, going the negative direction. And then negative 9 pi over 4. We're going to go to pi, negative pi over 4 and then go all the way around. So that's coterminal with negative pi over 4. Find the supplement and complement to each angle. So supplementary angles add up to 360. And 360 is the same as 2 pi in radians. And complementary angles add up to 90 degrees, which is pi over 2 in radians. So if we, take, uh, if we take 2 pi and we minus 2 pi over 7, these are supplementary. So we have 14 pi over 7 minus 2 pi over 7. So the complement is 12 pi over 7. Uh, we need, now we need pi over 2 minus 2 pi over 7. So that's going to be, uh, we need 7. So we need 7 pi over um, 14 minus 4 pi over 14. That's going to be 3 pi over 14 is the complement. What about 7 twelfths? We have 24 pi over 12. That's 2 pi minus 7 pi over 12. Uh, that's equal to 17 pi over 12. So there's the supplement. And since we're already past pi over 2, uh, 6 pi over 12 is, uh, is the, the 90 degrees. We're already past that. So this one, it doesn't have a complement. We have 8 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. So the supplement is 7 pi over 4. And then we would have, we need a half now. We have 2 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. That's equal to pi over 4.